uh, hypospadias uh, is a congenital anomaly in children in which the urethral opening is at an abnormal location uh, it means that the tip of urethra is opening under surface of the penis uh, whether it is uh, distal hypospadias, mid penile hypospadias, or proximal hypospadias. So, depending on the severity of the issue, it can be uh, mostly 90% or 95% is mostly present uh, mid and distal, and uh, around uh, uh, 10 to 15% is in the proximal uh, location. So, hypospadias is a second common congenital anomaly in children and roughly it occurs in uh, one in 205th uh, birth in a male child so this type of anomaly we call as a uh, hypospadias that means it has three structural abnormalities in the penis one uh, the urethral opening is uh, not at a normal location it is at the proximal location and uh, second is the foreskin is not very well developed we call as a hooded prepuce and third mostly uh, when the hypospadias is uh, proximal the penis is bent uh, which is called the cordy around uh, 70 to 80 percent of the patients with the proximal hypospadias has the cordy so the penis is not straight so collectively we call this anomaly as hypospadias uh, the main reasons for this anomaly is uh, uh, it can run in families that mean it has a genetic basis for that uh, the environmental factors uh, there are a lot of toxins in the uh, in the environment which affect the normal development of the uh, structures and third is the prenatal uh, hormones there may be deficiencies of hormones in which the urethral tube uh, does not form sufficiently to reach to the tip of the penis so this can also be a part of other anomalies or many various sy syndromes uh, like congenital adrenal hyperplasia is one condition in which the children can have a hypospadias so whenever these babies are born uh, obviously it is uh, very worrisome for the parents when they come to know whether their child is having an abnormal uh, opening um, of the urethra of the urine uh, urinary tube at the under surface of the penis uh, the first thing when we when we actually encounter with uh, these parents uh, it, it's very important to reassure them and uh, counsel them that this is a treatable problem and uh, it needs certain procedures to correct at a right time and uh, these children uh, uh, do well in their life ahead also so there are three uh, main uh, you know uh, challenges in front of the surgeon uh, when we deal with these uh, congenital anomalies one is to have a straight penis that means correction of the cordy uh, number two they should have a, a normal opening at the level of uh, tip of the penis and that means the urethroplasty and uh, third is that uh, we should have a uh, you know the normal shape of the penis uh, so all these objectives uh, we achieve by doing the corrective surgeries uh, most of the time the hypospadias which are like uh, uh, distal located uh, near the tip of the penis we correct them in one stage and because more uh, not much of these like on uh, 90% of these uh, children have a straight penis so we do not need to uh, straighten it and then uh, make the tube and uh, uh, the problem arises when uh, the hypospadias is proximal uh, we call it a penoscrotal hypospadias and these children uh, it's, it's difficult to have a surgery in one go we always do these surgeries in uh, two parts the one in which we correct the uh, or straighten the penis which we call as a cordy correction this end also lay down the graft by which we then after six months of the time period we uh, take them for the second uh, final stage of the surgery which we call as a urethroplasty so uh, this procedure has been given the name of stag and the procedure which is uh, corrected in one go 
which we call as a TIP or uh, as well you know very uh, popularly uh, this popularized by the famous surgeon uh, by the name of Snodgrass so um, the most uh, important thing here is that uh, uh, you know these children should get this correction around the age of uh, four to four years so that they should not leave a long-term mental uh, trauma uh, when when they actually start or uh, recognizing their genitalias so whosoever you know uh, uh, is is watching this video if uh, any child uh, they are come across with such uh, congenital anomaly they should make sure that they should reach to their urologist uh, before the age of four years to get these uh, things corrected we do come across uh, in many scenario in in the clinical practice where uh, i happen to correct uh, these congenital anomalies at a very old age also when you know these uh, anomalies are neglected in the childhood and once the uh, children grow up they are like almost adult now and they do come for the correction of the hyperspadias also so i hope that this video will be useful for spreading the information for those parents and uh, or the parents who are watching whose children unfortunately have this uh, congenital anomaly they should you know consult their urologist and uh, get their uh, children's uh, condition corrected thank you very much